everyone and thanks so much for tuning in today i'm going to be doing a get ready with me video as i get ready to go on a date tonight so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take some of my african black soap and i'm going to go ahead and wash my face with this um this is something that i saw at sally's that shea moisture had so i was like i definitely have to try this product out so the first thing I went ahead and do is I just lather it up um, on a regular towel. I don't have a fancy face spin brush or anything like that. I just simply use a towel whenever I do wash my face. But I do want to go ahead and get one of those spinning brushes. But for the purpose of this video, I do have my handy dandy towel. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean my face with that. And after I finish, I just want you guys to see how my face looks. Um, it really takes all the all out of my skin. I have very oily skin. So I feel that this African black so maybe a good product for me I don't really have bad skin but I do have those dark spots and then I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my sugar lip scrub I know y'all see my nails they are dip powder I got those at the nail salon uh, right down the street from my house but of course we don't want to go on a date with no ashy lips and we don't want to go with no crusty lips so I do actually do a lip scrub before I go on a date and I just rub it in like it's regular lip gloss and um, yeah and basically it just works itself I'm um, just some sugar lip scrub I got it for one dollar at the beauty supply store and I just use this to exfoliate my lips give it a little second and I go ahead and rinse it so next I'm gonna go ahead and take the pore professional and this is a professional primer that I like to put on my face before I put on my foundation I think it was like $12 for this little itty bitty thing so that's why I didn't buy the big one I just suck with the little one and as you can see I'm just putting a little bit on my finger and then I dab it to the areas of my face that I feel are most oily and I try to just go ahead and rub that into my face so yeah I actually I got a sample of this before and then the girl kind of convinced me into buying it. and I'm like okay I'm gonna buy it but I'm buying the little one because I'm not spending all that money but I will admit y'all this is a very good primer it like melts right into my skin I love it and once again that is the pore professional and I did get this at Ulta and after you finish y'all it makes your face feel I don't know like it's such a refreshing feeling after I put on this primer so next up I will be taking my Lancome foundation in the color 470 Sue C and I'm going to be mixing it with my Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 400. I love both of these foundations and I feel like they both suit me well. So I'm going to go ahead and use these together and kind of just mix it up because as you can see they are totally not really two different colors but the Fenty Beauty um, product is definitely a little bit more orange. And now I'm just going to take this um, foundation brush that I got at Ulta. It was like $18. My cousin made me buy it and I'm so upset about it but whatever. I don't like spending that much money especially on stuff that I feel like I don't use but um, I'm definitely starting to use these products more, but I'm just taking um, my Fenty Beauty and I'm just putting it all over my face. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the Lancome foundation and also just dot that all over my face as well. I find that these products work best whenever I combine them for some weird reason, but yeah, so I'm pretty much just working into my face. Um, I do go ahead and stroke going downwards on my face just so it'll blend um, even more. And I also notice that it's easier for me to blend in the part of my neck connected to my face. That way my, um, my face won't be a different color from my neck. So it also does help whenever I do um, do my makeup and stroke it going downward. Y'all, I definitely clown way too much, but I'm going to go ahead and focus on my eyebrows. I will say before I start, I'm not a professional at this, but I will be using my Clutch Cosmetics Brow Definer, and that's in the color Dark Brown. And I'm going to be using that to just fill in the color of and my eyebrows. And I also eyebrow. do have the little highlighter color for my eyebrows in the color 14070, and I'll be using that as well. 
So the first thing I do, I just go ahead and fill in my eyebrows, nothing fancy. I'm using a Q-tip actually, uh, so this is funny, but whatever, I don't care. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eyebrow, and I'm just filling it in as best as I can. I'm not that good at shapes or anything. I just get my eyebrows uh, waxed like every two weeks, and I just go ahead and upkeep it. I normally don't even put makeup on my eyebrows, but tonight I felt like getting a little fancy. So after my brows are filled in, I do go back with the little highlighter stuff and I just go ahead and line them up as best as I can. And then I'm just gonna take a handy dander blender brush and I actually use this to just go ahead and blend that in to my skin. And it kind of makes my eyebrows pop out a little bit by doing this with a blender brush. So yeah, or blender, whatever you call it. And this right here is nothing fancy. I got this from the beauty supply store. I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of these little contour kit colors and actually use that for my eyeshadow. I don't really like to use color eyeshadow anymore. I don't know if it's just me, but if you don't like wearing color eyeshadow, please like this video. I don't know why y'all, but I haven't been into that lately. So all I'm gonna do is go ahead and take the light one and the dark one and just put a little bit of that on my eyes. All right, y'all, so next up, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this eyeliner. I got this at the beauty supply store. They are $1, and I really like them because they are the roll-on kind, um, the kind that you can roll up and roll down. Um, I really do like those. I tend to break those a lot, but I definitely do like those um, when it is time to do my makeup. I feel that the eyeliner goes on a little bit more smooth and a little bit more easy uh, when I use it, and I also like to wear mine really, really dark. And then next up, I'm just gonna do my lashes. I will be using the V Lux by I on V or by I N V, however you wanna pronounce it. Um, and these were $5.99 at the beauty supply store. And I'm also gonna use their eyelash glue as well. And as you can see, their eyelashes do come with a sliding case. Um, so once you do wear them, you can put them back into that sliding case and go ahead and reuse them again. And what I really did like about this eyelash glue is once I applied the glue a few seconds later, all of the white was gone. So it didn't matter how much I really messed up or whatnot, like the white color just dissolved into my skin, which was really great because I didn't have to worry about um, anything else whenever I was doing my eyelashes. And I hate doing my eyelashes, y'all, but they kind of came out okay. Uh, I did have to go behind the scenes and kind of fix everything just a little bit um, that isn't actually on camera. And then I'm just taking some liquid eyeliner and I'm kind of going over the mess ups as best as I can. And I also did try to go for the wing look tonight. Um, I also did some more editing of that um, off camera as well. And then I went ahead and just put some mascara on to kind of just finish up my eyes and to complete the whole process. So after that, I do want to go ahead and go back and use my Clutch Cosmetics um, translucent powder. And I like to go back over my face with a translucent powder before I leave the house because I do have very, very, very oily skin. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put some highlighter on. And I don't really highlight, y'all. This is something that's totally new to me. Um, I normally didn't like to highlight in the past because I noticed that um, just the brushes that I used, it wasn't really blending in the highlight. So I didn't really care to use it. But now that I have the blending sponge, I feel that uh, my highlight game is definitely coming up just a little better because it actually blends in my face better. To finish up my face, I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of this contour kit that I got. And they also have instructions on the back. I got this from my beauty supply store. So I'm just basically applying how the picture has it on where to apply those um, different colors. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on my skin and then go ahead and blend that in. 
And lastly, I'm just going to go ahead and take my Kevin O'Quinn highlight powder. As you can see, it is a roll on, but um, I'm going to still go over it with my angled brush just to make sure I really blend it in well. And now it's time to go ahead and finish up with my NYX setting spray. Um, this is a matte finish, so supposedly it's supposed to make your face matte. Um, and I did actually do this voiceover after I got back from date night, so I will say that it worked. All right, and now it's time to pick which wig do I want to wear. This is always the hardest part. I don't know if I want to wear the curly wig. And I don't know if I want to wear the straight wig. It is always a struggle, man. So I went ahead and went put the straight wig on my head. But the curly wig won, as usual. So the first thing I like to do is I pull it all the way up and then I go back with a comb and kind of pull out the leave out that I want. Um, I don't pull out too much leave out, but I want to pull out enough just so I can kind of give that natural illusion in the front. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take some of my Eco Styler Gel and I'm just putting that um, on my actual natural hair and I like to brush it back to actually blend in with the hair. So I find that brushing it back actually works. Um, and so after I put the Eco Styler Gel, I do go back and take some of my edge control and I go ahead and do the same method. I apply it on all of my leave out and then I just go ahead and brush it in a backwards motion. That way I can go ahead and blend it in uh, with the weave as best as I can can y'all so yeah and then my baby hair has got to be on fleek you know they don't have to be perfect but I definitely do like to have a little bit of baby hairs going on I think that's really really cute if it's done the right way and not too dramatic and yeah y'all that's about it now I'm just putting on my lotion this is just some um, natural equate baby lotion y'all that I have got it from Walmart and then I'm gonna take my Kenneth Cole Reaction for her body spray, and I'm just spraying myself with this. As far as jewelry, I don't really wear a lot of jewelry, so I will wear those two rings that you just seen, and some plain rhinestone earrings for my ears with a cute little fashion watch. And for my bag, I will be wearing my little Michael Kors book bag for that. All right, and what am I doing now? Okay, I'm putting on my Kylie Jenner lip gloss as a lip liner. And I really like this because it dries matte. So um, it's always something that I did wear ever since I got. Um, I really, really do love this color. And then I'm just going to take a beauty supply store lip gloss. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the inside of the lip liner. And just to give it that good finish, I'm going to go ahead and blend those two together to give me my finished look, finished face for my date night. So let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Let me know if y'all like the look or whatnot. And I just kept it real simple tonight. It was just dinner and a movie. So I just put on all black and made sure I was cute. And that's about it. But thank y'all so, so much for watching. And as always, subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.